adventure. And they've got little signs on about all the animals. And if the children want to think about what each animal wants for Christmas, and then you just jot it down and put it through. Second lockdown in a year. Uh, first time since the Blitz that we've been closed. Um, it's been a stressful, very long year. So to be able to open those gates was a good feeling. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's put the pressure on us hugely. We're in a, we've got a lot of animals to feed even when we're closed. Um, and that really put the pressure on us and really meant we had to really drill down into our savings. Um, got, quite, got quite tight a few times. We uh, were closed in total for 15 weeks this year and those were during our peak time so we, that meant we lost millions of pounds worth of gate income um, which uh, we haven't recouped yet because we just haven't had the opportunity to have the footfall so it's a really big hole that we're still trying to fill. Um, every little bit helps having visitors back in certainly gets us uh, back on the, on the path to recovery again but we've got a long way to go. First time round, they really were baffled. The only day of the year that London Zoo is normally closed in normal times is Christmas Day. Um, and they're used to the, the one day per year, but when sort of one day became one week, became many months, they were really baffled as to where all the humans. So if ever they did see anybody walking around the zoo, it was a, it was a huge novelty. So uh, they, uh, they did the same in the more recent lockdown, uh, slightly more used to it, but equally they, they love the visitors. Visitors um, is what makes a zoo and a, and a zoo without visitors is simply not a zoo. So it's, it's been fantastic to get people back through the doors. <laughs> So we reopened our doors at 10 o'clock this morning after a long four-week lockdown um, and we kept close observations on the gorillas and as the first visitors came through they did what they always do they were checking out people's different clothes different hats my hat uh, different shoes that's part of their enrichment they love they're real people watchers um, and so having their visitors come back through um, kind of was a, a return to normality for the gorillas so an important day for us. Uh, gorillas get a few festive treats so they'll get things like some roasted nuts rather than normal nuts we might if we might if the nutritionist doesn't find out we might bake some apples they're not even supposed to get apples anyway but the nutritionist won't hear um, and sometimes might bake them some apples as well just to give it that slight different Christmas feeling we can enjoy Christmas that's so important that they do as well <laughs> <laughs> 